Hello, my name is Jarek, and what I have right here with me is the latest version of Territory Servant. And what I want to do in this video is to give uh, you a definitive guide on how to use the map editor. Uh, all the features that it has, uh, what it's best used for, and how you can use it for your congregation. Uh, so to start, uh, the map editor that we have down here, uh, let's put it into full screen by clicking this green button up here. So some uh, territory making applications, uh, they allow you to map out your territories uh, in, a, in a geographic location. So you know you put a little box uh, around it. Um, but what Territory Servant uh, wants to do is to let you make a clear, concise uh, map for your publishers. Uh, not just a, maybe a box, but you have some more features that really let you customize each individual territory. Uh, so uh, with that, let's turn this area right here into a territory. It's going to, we'll put some markers, it's just going to start here, and it's going to go to here, and it'll kind of uh, make this little rectangle here. But we'll get rid of these, and we'll start mapping it. So you see there's many tools up here on the toolbar. And we're going to start with this little draw tool, this little pencil here. And what this allows you to do, uh, which is one of the, the main features uh, that, that are used when building uh, maps with uh, our map editor, is it lets you uh, choose what streets you want to be worked with a green or, or a red if you don't want them to work it. So we'll start with Rainbow Circle. And what's nice about it is, is you, it actually will draw it on the road for you. You just have to give it a couple hints. So you do a couple clicks, and then once you get to the end, if you double click, it automatically fills in the road for you. All the curves, uh, it'll do all that for you. You just have to uh, give it an idea of what you want. So we'll do the same thing here. And for cul-de-sacs, what I like to do is just kind of wrap it around. Sometimes if you don't do a complete circle, uh, it'll cut off halfway and it'll be more of a hook. All right, so now we'll go down Eucalyptus. One of the nice things about having it this way is that you can actually map out the exact streets that they'll be working uh, as well um, as you can map them out quite fast um, because it automatically clicks to the roads you want. As long as you know the roads that you want to work for a territory, um, it's relatively quick to make uh, different territories. Okay, so we'll save our work there. Uh, now let's look at a couple of the other tools that we have here so for this territory once we get to this carefree road here all the way down to to this sunflower circle we don't want them to work the right side of the street or the east side here so what we want to do is use the exact uh, draw tool which is uh, right here with this precision icon and when you click on it you now in exchange for the editor automatically filling in the curves and adjusting to the road you have complete control of the points on the map that you want to be so with this selected we'll zoom in and we'll draw right above right above uh, that green line that we just made and so you have to manually do the curves for this part, but once you finish, while you're editing, if you need to drag the map, you can click anywhere, just hold down until you have that hand that's holding something, and you can drag. And then it, it won't add another point to the line, you can just move around the map. So once you get to the end, again, you'll double click, and now that part of the map has a red line on it to indicate not to work there. 
um, you can do various things. So with this hand tool, uh, all these lines that you've drawn, you can now edit, you can change things on it. So if you right click on any of them, you get some options. So you can change the style. Let's say you wanted eucalyptus to actually not be worked. So you change it and now the whole line is red. Or if you uh, wanted to change a point on a map, you could edit it. And so now you have all the points that made up that road. And what you see here is you have these white dots and you have these grayed out dots. Uh, the grayed out dots allow you to add an extra point. So right now there's only these two points here. But if you click on this gray line, it's now going to add another point to add a little more uh, precision. So then you can click done. You can also, if you make a mistake, you know, you can right click and just delete it. Now it's gone. Uh, and that works on any shape. Anything that you draw onto this map, you can just right click on and get more information. So you right click on this, you can change the colors uh, of the side here if you want it to be uh, blue, uh, black, or red, as well as edit it and delete it. On top of that, you do have this uh, shape tool. And what it can be used for is, is marking out certain specific, specific areas. Like right here, uh, we have some uh, gas stations that are actually part of a, a business territory. So if we click there, we'll make it yellow. And then with either this marker, we can put a marker on the middle and we can give this marker a name. Uh, so we can say uh, business or we can say uh, C notes. And you'll, you will notice that in the editor, the text that you type in actually goes on the top of this marker. Uh, but actually when you print it, it's gonna print right down here at the bottom of this point. So that's something to keep in mind. Uh, so we'll save this. Uh, there is a feature uh, with all these lines here that I haven't talked about yet. It's this caption. And I'm actually going to save that for um, the next map we're going to look at because it's particularly helpful when you're making large rural maps. So with the territory we made here, let's save it. And then we'll go print. And so you have various options when it comes to printing, but the defaults most of the time uh, look the best. So we'll hit create, and this generates the image, the map that we'll be using, and then you click print to create the PDF. So we see here, uh, the green is what we're supposed to be working. We have this half red street. We could, if we wanted to, uh, drag it over a little bit more, um, if that wasn't enough of a green. Uh, and then we have the C notes marker with the red with the yellow which then we can put into the notes field of the territory to explain what the publisher should do here. Uh, also um, in regards to this red line see how it's a little too thick what we can do is change this road overlay size and so this actually changes the thickness of those lines that you've drawn so we can make this let's try 10 and then we'll hit create again and now that's a little bit thicker and you can mess around with it and toy with it uh, as much as you'd want to get the, the best and clearest picture for your territory. Uh, some of these other um, settings here, we have a satellite map, if you'd like to see satellite. We also have uh, the different card size, if you want an S12 or a US letter. Um, when you pick US letter, it's going to generate a square map uh, instead of having the, the rectangular one because it fits and it allows for more room on the various uh, uh, when you print it out. So we go back to S12 you can have what you exactly want to be printed so standard is printing the front and the back with both the do not calls and the foreign languages on the back. You can also just print just the do not calls so it's just uh, the back of the page with only the do not calls on it only the foreign languages uh, just the front page of the map or just the back side with the do not calls and the foreign languages on it. So depending on what you need, uh, you know, if you just got the do not calls updated, but the map's the same, you can just click backside only. Uh, then we have the overlay size that we talked about, and then road size. Road size is the um, 
example, let's go back to roadmap. And these white lines that make up the roads you haven't drawn on, you can select the thickness of those. So we'll make them thicker, and you'll notice that these roads have now gotten a little bit thicker. And you could change these to your likings, what you think is the best. And then lastly, this caption font size. This is the font size of the C notes text right here. Uh, so you can go extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and it all depends on uh, the needs of that particular map bar. And so here we, we created a territory uh, that's specifically designed to uh, indicate what needs to be worked, uh, how to work it, uh, any extra things that you need. Uh, but now let's look at that feature I was talking about uh, with the caption and see how it can help um, making rural territories. So we'll go click up here to territories. We'll click on this sample here. And so right now we have this large map. It takes up a lot of square footage so that map has to zoom out very far. And when you go to print it you, c you can really see that it's not the best. It only has one road name on it and that's because of the map. Massive amount of square footage this map takes. For example that other map we just made was probably uh, from here to here. So this is because uh, the map has to zoom out very far just to fit it all in. And there's not much you can do about that uh, because it needs to fit in uh, all that's in that map. But what you can do is we'll go back to this map, make it full screen. Let's zoom in. So we notice that these this street right here uh, Fair B Road. Uh, it wouldn't show up. That name wouldn't show up on the territory. So if we add the caption, Fair B Road, now has this little tag indicator on it, and this lets it know that that you have a caption assigned to this this road. Let's also go down here to um, this is Highway 74. So we'll put H 74, and then down here is Fire. Tower Road. Okay, so we save this. We see uh, that our roads are tagged. We save it. And now when we print it, it prints the actual street names on top of the map. Uh, now these are a little big, so let's let's go down to small and we'll try that out. Okay, this is looking a little better. And let's try a little bit smaller. Try to make it match the map. And so here we have Fairby Road, Highway 74, and Fire Tower Road. And so now it's still zoomed out pretty far, but you now can clearly see what needs to be worked. And you can add more roads uh, that need to be done and this is going to be a nice tool for those that have uh, rural territories where they do cover a lot of square footage even though there might not be that many houses in them. Uh, this is, uh, will be a nice way to be able to make territories uh, for those maps. So these are the core features uh, that we've been adding to the uh, map editor. Uh, there will be continual uh, improvements and upgrades as we, uh, as we think of new things or as we get uh, feedback and we'll always keep you up to date and we'll always make the maps uh, backward compatible uh, for the newest updates. So we hope this uh, was, a, was a nice uh, tool, nice instruction that makes sense. Uh, always with any questions you have feel free to email at uh, support at territoryservant.com and we want to thank you guys so much. Bye.